So here we are for the first time in the history of mankind where you can go a full day being surrounded by people, yet we can be deeply and dangerously alone. Today we're going to the World Trade Center. We're gonna meditate on top of the Freedom Tower. Hi, I'm Jesse Israel. I'm the founder of The Big Quiet. The story starts in an NYU dorm room when Jesse and his roommate found out about a band called MGMT. We heard about a song called Kids that people were freaking out about. Without experience, they offered to manage the band. And we created a dorm room record label. But a few years later, Jesse's internal world started to change. Really had this great ride, and about halfway through, I just started having panic attacks. It was a really tough time. I got into meditation at that point. Jesse ended up leaving his record label, but wasn't sure what he was going to do next. I was depressed. I felt really isolated, and I put myself in the situation. It was around this time that he brought a few friends together to meditate. There's a depth to the experience that happens when we're meditating with a group of people. That small meditation turned into the big quiet, a mass meditation series focused on blending culture and consciousness. You can just sort of feel that collective energy around you. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I think it's one of the most profound experiences we can share as humans, mass meditation. Within a big quiet, the world transforms for Jesse. That charges me in a way that makes me feel like I am doing what I'm here to do. No one gave Jesse permission to start a meditation group. I ran a record label for a while. I love hip hop music, I ride a skateboard. I'm not necessarily this, you know, like yogi med meditation guy. And yet Jesse's still able to create meaningful, deep experiences for people. After you've shared a, a meditation where essentially everyone's been equalized, it doesn't matter what you do, what you believe in, where you're from, suddenly we're all the same and quiet. I, I, I never had a feeling like it before in my life. And he's finally found what he's here to do. I can't think of anything else that would that I'm better suited to give myself to in my life right now. I think that that Medi Club and the Big Quiet are, are particularly suited for New York because I think that in, in, in a major city like New York. It is, it is so easy to feel alone. Uh, uh, and for the first year of doing this, it, it was, it was so, it was so, I tortured myself in regards to focusing on the people that didn't like what we were doing or um, that didn't feel, uh, that, that didn't respect what we were up to. And I wasn't able to see the accomplishment. I wasn't able to see the impact that it was having on the city, the impact it was having on people's lives, their appreciation for what was built. All I, all I was able to see was, was thousands of eyeballs judging me, thousands of eyeballs uh, judging the big quiet in our organization because I was so convinced that they were having such a bad time. And it, it sucked because that was, that was such a great event. It was a really cool celebration. Yes, tons of things went wrong. Things go wrong at all of our events. It's part of what makes them special. But after that event, I wasn't able to appreciate the good because I was so focused on myself. I was, so, I was so focused on how I was being perceived that I wasn't able to look at, well, what, did, what about the people that did enjoy it? What about the fact that we created this thing that, that is having an impact on those around us, uh, not me? And I'll sit in the audience and I'll just feel it, you know, sort of, feel that collective energy around you. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I think it's one of the most profound experiences we can share as humans, mass meditation.